Well, Olivia is uh, bummed out, but she felt a kind of relationship feeling with Jack when they were hanging out. Yeah, like butterflies in the stomach. So. Which is a good deal. Yes. And she goes, I don't date a lot, but I felt this way, and now I want to see Jack again. Yep. All right, it's Commercial Free New Country, 99.5 QIK. We are going to call Jack right now. Let's do it. Hello? Hi, good morning. Is this Jack? Uh, this is. Hey, Jack. Sorry to bother you this morning. This is actually JR, Lana, and Kevin over here at 99.5 QIK. How you doing? I'm doing good. <laughs> hey, man, would you have a couple minutes to talk to us? We want to see if we could, you know, uh, talk to you actually about, this is, I know this is going to sound crazy, but talk to you about a date you recently went on. Would you have a couple minutes to talk to us? Um, that's, that's fine, yeah. That's okay. All right, great. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Well, straight up, well, we want sure. to talk to you about this girl, uh, Olivia. We know that you guys uh, hung out and went to the Outback for dinner, had a great time there, and she said uh, okay. that she really had some strong feelings for you, wants to see you again, can't seem to get you on the phone, and can't get, seem to set up another date with you. Maybe we can help. What's going on with you guys? That's funny. Okay. I thought I thought maybe my first instinct was just what you just said there. Wow. Um I don't know. She's just way too country bumpkin for me is the best way I could say it. Country bumpkin? Yeah, oh like extreme country. Like, I just can't deal with, I don't know how to say it. Well, <laughs> like, kind of who she is and what she's got going on. Which is what? She, like, lives with a chicken. She lives with a chicken? <laughs> yes, a terrifying chicken. Terrifying. terrifying. Wait, did yeah, you see this you when you went to go pick her up, or she told you about this? So I go to pick her up. I come in and and right away I see like down the hall a little bit you know like from one room to another this little thing just like passes like out of the corner of my eyes like I go I go whoa what was that she's like that's my chicken I was like your chicken and then the chicken's like in the kitchen all of a sudden and it's like peeking at me you know they have that side eye <laughs> where they look like kind of <laughs> off the side of their head yeah and oh. it's staring at me it's like peeking around the corner like what is that and I'm like what are you yeah. and, <laughs> what are you I, I, then she's like talking to it. She's like finishing up her makeup, and, and you know she's she's referencing the chicken, and the chicken's like back to her. <laughs> <laughs> so they so, like, so she talks real. chicken. This isn't real. There's no way. Um, yes, a hundred percent. And I, I felt like I was in the twilight zone. I, I kept trying to rationalize it. I'm like, well, you know, people have like little pigs and stuff, or, or or like a sugar glider. So people don't always have to have the traditional pet. But this chicken. Was like tick 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 going back and forth, like running around the house, <laughs> confused obviously because it's a wild animal. All right, and so here's the deal, Jack. We actually have Olivia on the phone. Office. We have to ask her about this. Yeah, please ask her. Okay. Here we uh, go. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia. Hi. I can't believe I'm saying this. Do you uh, live with a chicken? Is like a chicken in your house? <laughs> yeah. Wait, is, is that, that it? it? <laughs> it's right here. I do. What's your chicken's name? Ice Cube. Ice Cube. Yeah. <laughs> Ice Cube. <laughs> oh, that's great. Wait, can I, hold on, everybody. I want to hear this again. Let me hear this chicken. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You really do live with a chicken. He's sitting right next to me on the couch right now. So, yeah. Let, All right, let's back up and ask he, how he this just came has about. Free run, run of the house? He does. He wears a diaper, you know. What? He does, but most of the time he wears a little chicken diaper. Chicken diaper. Chicken diaper. Yeah, they make diapers. <laughs> uh, okay. How did this come about where you decided to live with a chicken? Well, I live on a farm. Like, my parents have a farm down the road. Um, they have some chickens there. And I found him. He hatched, and his mother abandoned him. And he was, like, half frozen to death. So Aww. I was doing some chores on the farm, and I just stuck him in my bra and kept him there and warmed him up. And, you know, after about an hour, I started hearing beep, 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 beep. And, you know, I just brought him in with me, and he lived on my shoulder until he was too big. I mean, he still walks around. I still walk around with him on my shoulder. But um, he what? lives everywhere with me in the house. He's my buddy. Oh, my God. Where does he sleep? He sleeps, uh, like, on a roost I have in the bathroom. Like, he would rather sleep with me. But <laughs> you get that. up in the middle of the night to, to go to the bathroom, you got a, you got a chicken staring at you. <laughs> no, like, I put newspaper under him. <laughs> well, it sounds like you have a good sense of humor about it, too. I mean, Jack, this is actually kind of funny, man. When you're there in person, 
and this thing is 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 like flying back and forth, pew pew pew, it's like <laughs> around every corner, staring at you. And then you imagine, what if everything goes really great and I stay the night, and all of a sudden there's a chicken on my chest, <laughs> staring at me like, <laughs> what are you chest. doing here? This is my woman, and then pecks my eyes out. This is it pecks my eyes out. <laughs> I I might be a little freaked out. Uh, Jack, then, there's a whole, there's not a whole lot I can say about what's going on here, other than the fact that she sounds very sweet and she was helping out no, this chicken, does. and she loves I animals. Do. Hello, that's, that's a, a good quality. Thing. This sounds like a great first date story. This is a funny story, Jack. Is this going to be a deal breaker for you? Though, Come dude? on, Jack, go out with her again. This seems awesome. I'll lock up the chicken. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You know what? I'm going to tell you guys this. Oddly enough, she's so damn positive about the whole situation i'm curious of how i reacted and i'm still terrified of ice cube <laughs> um would you like be willing to see her again though i think i will wow hey, look at that. <laughs> oh man bark, bark. ice cube how do you feel about that i feel great but ice cube's obviously excited he likes you <laughs> <laughs> oh my this God. is well, you know, you awesome can't... I just didn't know how to react because I was freaked out. So, this is definitely a first for us. Uh, awesome. Anyway, we're gonna put you guys on hold, and we will set you up. We'll pay for your next date, and we'll uh, we'll be wishing you guys luck. Okay. Thanks, guys. Okay. All right, hang on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> was that was that ice cube at the end there? <laughs> this is awesome. I love it. There's no way that just happened. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Would you um would you mind a chicken running around like if Kristen had a chicken? Well, here's the thing: we know she would never have a chicken. No, no, I can't tell if Olivia's nuts or not. <laughs> As I listen to that, no, she's is just that a crazy thing to do? I, I kind of feel like it is, but at the same time, she sounded very sweet and very fun. She took in an animal that needed a home, sure, and now it's got literally free run it, of the house. it's got a home, all right, her whole house. Oh my god! I love the fact that she named it Ice Cube. Ice Cube. And the fact that it wanted to speak up on the call as well. <laughs> so great. Oh, my gosh. All right. Here we go. <laughs> I don't even know what you would say about this. That was just insane to me. 800-992-1099. 800-992-1099. It's Commercial Free New Country 99.5 QIK.